Hi gang! Here's Darth Vader's TIE Fighter from Star Wars, with actual ion propulsion added. When I made my other video with ion propulsion added to Star Trek Enterprise, a few of you pointed out that the TIE Fighter would have been a more obvious choice, since the TIE in TIE Fighter stands for Twin Ion Engine. So here it is in action. You can see that the bluish corona for this one looks very cool. And to make it more exciting, I added an actual laser too. Here's how I added the ion propulsion. The TIE Fighter model came in this packaging. It's the Snap Type by Ravel. The ion propulsion needs two parts facing each other. A sharp part, which is this very thin bare wire, and a smooth part, which is this aluminum foil with a rounded edge. I'll be putting the ion propulsion on the bottom of the TIE Fighter. Taking off the sides will make it easier. I start by making a loop of very thin bare copper wire. This is 30 gauge wire. I solder it to an insulated wire which will go to my high voltage power supply. I next measure a length of insulated wire that fits across the back of the TIE Fighter. Really anything long enough with some thickness will do. I use it to measure out a piece of kitchen aluminum foil. I wrap the foil around the wire and fold over the ends. That gives me the smooth edge. I attach an insulated wire to that too. That will also go to my high voltage power supply. I hot glue the loop of thin wire to the front and then the smooth aluminum foil to the back. The loop I'd put in the thin wire gives me some adjustability back and forth. I now have a sharp edge here and a smooth edge here. Just what I need to do ion propulsion. And here's the Enterprise. In the video where I showed how to add ion propulsion to it, I did it a bit differently. This way works better. I simply made a loop of thin bare wire here for the sharp edge and wrapped the aluminum foil with the smooth edge around here. As for the lasers, the laser for the TIE Fighter is in here, where Darth Vader would normally sit. The laser for the Enterprise is inside the saucer. Click here to watch a video showing how I added the lasers to these models. Time for some fun. Here's a setup for running them. This is my homemade high voltage power supply. And this is the stator and rotor. This wiring provides the high voltage positive, And this wiring is connected to earth ground. And here they both are in action with lasers blazing. Note the awesome looking bluish corona where the ion wind is being produced. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel Rimstar Org for more neat videos like this. That includes the one about adding ion propulsion to the Star Trek Enterprise. Also the one showing how I added the lasers to the models. And one explaining how this form of ion propulsion works. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. Or give a thumbs up, leave a question, or comment below. See you in a bit.